This is the Honor 8 Pro. So, the Honor 8 Pro, to quote Donald Trump, is a tippy-toppy uh, flagship phone from Honor. It's the better version, or the newer version, the bigger version, if you like, of the Honor 8. And we're going to dip inside and have a look and see what's here. Now, obviously, this is a fairly expensive phone by Honor standards. However, it packs a lot more for the money. So, the box is very simple. Blue and all that kind of caper. And inside, if we just pull it open, obviously this is a real test device from Honor, and I only have it for a limited period, which is unfortunate. It's not my own device, I didn't purchase it, but uh, some other folks have had a look at this, and as a result, it's not quite as boxed as I would like it to be. So we have the device on top, and we'll have a look at that in a minute. Uh, the box itself is a feature-packed box that turns into Google Cardboard with the folding of edges and and stuff. <laughs> there we go. That's it. That'll give us something to play with uh, at a later date. Quite ingenious, that. And, and I know that uh, it's been mentioned in a couple of podcasts and things like that, that that would be a great idea for people to do. In fact, I believe we even mentioned it in Tech Addicts podcast some years ago, but uh, it's been done now, so well, there you go. Uh, we seem to be lacking a SIM card ejector tool on the top there. And we have inside a piece of cardboard that detectives would be able to work out. That's for a SIM card ejector tool. We have some lenses for the Google Cardboard over there and we have a European adapter right okay I do know that Honor uh, I think that we're a bit delayed with getting out the device uh, for pre-orders and things like that so perhaps they don't have very many review samples available but uh, we have a fairly long USB-C just a, a under a meter USB-C cable in white And that's it, that's all that's in this box, at least anyway. So moving on to the device itself, which is, ooh, covered in fingerprints. My first hands on with it, I suspect this is quite iPhone-y right out of the box. It, it does feel very iPhone-y and it even looks a lot like the iPhone 7 Plus, which is no bad thing. The Honor 8 was beautiful and the Honor 8 Pro takes that beauty, makes it a little bit bigger and continues with it it's gorgeous it's very very thin if you can see that that's uh well less than a centimeter i'm sure the exact dimensions are about somewhere seven millimeters and then it's 157 millimeters down and then 77.5 millimeters wide so at the top we have uh, quite a reflectant screen it's obviously a glossy screen and you can see me and you can see the front-facing camera, a sensor, and an earpiece. Then we have the screen itself, which is a massive screen, weighing in at 5.7 inches. However, if you have a look at the size of the bezels, there's virtually nothing to them, thus simplifying the size of the device to make it actually quite easy to grip. And you can get across it quite easily. There's decent amount of thumb reach there whereas some other devices with a 5.7 inch screen are, are you just can't get right over to that corner and get pretty close with this so there's nothing along the bottom there save for the honor logo itself which looks nice and pronounced very elegant very elegant indeed on this side we have a power button and a volume rocker and that's about it you can see a, an antenna line here and here, which obviously crosses across the back to the other side, and at the bottom as well. Uh, down at the bottom of the device, we have the USB-C connector, two exposed screws, a speaker, and a 3.5mm headphone jack. There is also a microphone hole as well. <laughs> then up this side, there is nothing, save for a uh, SIM card tray, 
which the SIM card ejector tool is not here, so I don't... I have one. Okay, so we'll have a quick look at it because I have a suspicion that the SIM card tray houses a micro SD card as well. It does, and it comes with a 3 SIM too. Excellent. That's very handy. So the internals have 64 gigabytes uh, built in, so uh, you have enough for most of your stuff, but uh, those that require more storage obviously do have the option. Then on the top here we have a microphone and what looks like an IR blaster. And uh, on the back we have the dual camera setup, which is dual lenses. And these are 12 megapixel with an f-stop of 2.2, got face detection and laser autofocus. There's dual LED as well, you can just about see in there, a little orange one and a yellow one. And I can shoot video up to 2160p at 30 frames per second and 1080p at 60 frames per second. And of course the one around the front is an 8 megapixel camera. And further on down the back we have a, a fingerprint sensor right in the centre of the back. Then the Honor logo at the bottom and some CE branding and that kind of caper too. So we'll turn her on and see what happens. Dead. Dead to the world. Okay, for charging purposes we have a little charge icon there. We'll give it a couple of seconds to build up a little bit of power before we boot it up. We have an octa-core processor inside featuring two quad cores bound together. One quad core that's 2.4 gigahertz and the other quad core that's 1.8 gigahertz. That's the Karen 960. It runs Android Nougat out of the box. Should do. I'm sure there's probably some kind of security update there on it anyway. And we're up to 3% already. We get a bit of a buzz as it turns on. This is Gorilla Glass 3.0. We have, this is the 4 gigabyte ROM or RAM version. There is also a 6 gigabyte ROM, RAM version in uh, Korea, I believe. So we're going with uh, United Kingdom. I agree to these con terms and conditions. Of course, Wi-Fi plus and weather service is fine by me. We're going to connect to my local network. And that was lightning fast. Everything here just seems to be lightning fast so far. Checking info, just a second. We're not going to bother with our Google information right now. Okay, so uh, all signed into Google and authenticated and that kind of keeper. And we can protect our phone by using the uh, fingerprint scanner on the back. And we're going to start afresh. We need a Huawei. Okay, now that's done. Uh, fingerprint con touch control allows you to answer a call, take a photograph, stop alarms, show notification panel and browse photos. Very handy. Fingerprint uh, ID can also unlock the screen, access a safe and access app lock. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to skip this. We're not going to have the phone long enough to be able to play with that too much, I wouldn't imagine, but... It's good to know it's there. So EMUI is obviously in play here. Uh, love it or hate it, it's what Huawei use on the Honor. I don't mind it. I love an app drawer, but uh, I must be in the, the few. So we have some stuff installed automatically out of the box. We also have the, the Google bits and pieces here. We've got the Play Store messaging app settings and gallery on the front page we have the phone manager themes music video high game which is huawei games store type thing health which is a built-in fitness application uh, calendar notepad high care tools top apps and stuff from vmall and facebook of course as well and swift key this appears to be the uh Okay, so Phone Manager allows you to play around with the actual memory settings and things to give you maximum uh, performance whenever you need it. There appears to be two different uh, menus down here. We've got cleanup, mobile data, block list, 11% of battery remaining, virus scan, permissions, drop zone management, app lock, and lock screen cleanup. So, 
obviously those are very handy utensils uh, for you to have a better, better idea of what's going on with your phone. We have a theme store as well that allows you to change how your phone feels. Some people do love this sort of thing. I can personally can take it or leave it. I'm quite happy with stock normally. But uh, there's a lot of uh, artistic influences there that uh, the youth will love, I'm sure, and the creative too. Uh, music is a dedicated mu music player. We have three songs installed and we're going to go and play one just to see how loud this uh, speaker is and we'll point it directly at the microphone so you can enjoy it too. Magic m mullet. Right. Okay, so it is quite tinny, but it's perfect for phone calls and that sort of thing. Uh, videos, no local content, high game. We have some games that you can install. The Room 2 Escape, oh, pretty good actually. Uh, room 1 Escape, excellent. They don't appear to have price list or pricing beside them either. So we'll take them all as free. Oh, I'm quite impressed with that right out of the box. First two room games are worth it for me. Uh, the health suite, agree with that. Lie access uh, is a standard fitness app. We've got running, that sort of thing. Uh, there are no biometric scanners on this, so uh, it's all about GPS and that kind of uh, calculation. Calendar, inbuilt. Uh, it's Johnny's birthday apparently today. Happy birthday, Johnny. Uh, notepad, adding in notes. Oh, did we try do that? Yes. Uh, tools, what do we have under tools? We've got files, obviously a file explorer, clock, weather, calculator, sound recorder, torch, mirror, uh, smart controller for the IR blaster, and compass. Then we have backup, downloads, SIM toolkit, and SIM toolkit. Two SIM toolkits. Uh, we have top apps, which are, I'm sure, not terribly top, if you ask me. Uh, Booking.com for cheap excursions and hotel rooms and that kind of thing. TripAdvisor, rubbish. Uh, Twitter, very handy. Instagram, Opera, right. And Jaunt VR. This must be for the Google Glass affair that's built into the box. Okay, with handset, and we'll go without a hands headset because that's going to be more difficult for you. We can obviously look around inside this room, and we can see stuff. Right, okay, so we'll try that out with the headset in time for the review. And we've got Facebook, and then of course Vmall. This amp links to Vmall, website operator is responsible, okay, for privacy and that kind of stuff. That's about all that's installed at the moment. We do, of course, have the camera, which on the previous Honor was superb. And I believe this is pretty much the same camera outfit as well. Battery level too low, flash is not available. I thought we had like 11%. We do. And that's pretty fast, actually. I've only been recording for, what, about 15 minutes or so? So, we'll... Someone said they like to look at this. Take a few pictures of this, throw them in. There we go. And then if we bring in from the side, we have all these different modes as well. We've got time lapse, light painting, night shots, 3D creator. Huawei have really done everything they can to make this one of the most attractive cameras on the market and I can't wait to get it out there and start utilizing it to the max. And then the gallery app obviously houses your photographs. Okay well that is the Honor 8 Pro. I'm going to run away and start reviewing it and I should hopefully have the review up by this time next week because I only have it for a week. Uh, it's gorgeous from the outside hopefully it's just as gorgeous on the inside if you have any questions about it please throw them into the comments below hit the subscribe button take care and i'll catch up with you on the next video